New at 5:30, the 439th Airlift Wing has been taking part in a week-long training at Westover Air Reserve Base to better their skills for when they're needed in a moment's notice. And 22 News reporter Nick Oresco saw the operations firsthand and tells us how these trainings are vital for these members of the Air Force. Our military is trained to be ready anytime in any situation and these trainings are vital to moving emergency equipment as seen today at Westover. Now remember, it always has to be even. These airmen and women are ready for any mission, anywhere, at any time. You guys, this is only providing lateral restraint. The 439th Airlift Wing at Westover Air Reserve Base in Chicopee has been taking part in a week-long training. This particular training involves rapid loading and unloading of cargo with the C-5M Super Galaxy, the largest aircraft in the Air Force. A local FEMA unit was on hand as airmen work on their skills for rapid humanitarian response. You know, there's almost no bouncing chain. That's how you know it's good. You have to maintain this sort of training for global impact, right? Um, we need to be ready for any sort of environment that we're going to be in. And in order to work along with other, other teams, other people like for such FEMA, you know, we need to maintain this sort of training. As the Russian invasion continues, millions of Ukrainian refugees are fleeing the Eastern European country. While these servicemen and women have not received the call to action, these trainings ensure that they will be ready if that call comes. So that's both into the frame. We can wrap around that. We can use it. We can go anywhere on a moment's notice, uh, web, anywhere they send us. So th this wasn't specifically a. Ukraine training events. However, uh, if we get the call, we can hit any environment uh, that, that we need to go to. With my full 10 year uh, career with the Air Force, this is something that I've been grown to be familiar with. Um, and every each and every time it's an exciting, you know, uh, thing to do. Yeah, and as you just saw, there is a lot that actually goes into these trainings. These specific trainings take place at Westover about once every year to make sure that these members of the Air Force are ready for when that time comes. We're live in Springfield this evening. Nick Oresco, 22 News.